Goldie Blocks Adventures in Coding, the Rocket Cupcake Co. Um, this is from a company called Goldie Blocks in the US, whose big thing is they want to encourage um, girls to learn to programming and science and technology skills, STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and maths. Um, they've done a whole bunch of things. They've made toys, they've done books, they've done videos and animation. Um, and this is one of their apps. And the idea is it gets um, girls, although boys could use it too, but it gets girls um, learning kind of simple programming concepts, coding, um, within the kind of medium of a game. And in this game, the idea is they have to deliver cupcakes to everyone in Blockstown. Um, so the idea is um, they have to send a rocket skateboard around a grocery store to pick up the ingredients screw up the cupcakes and deliver them and as they're doing this they're learning coding concepts and there's 20 levels of coding puzzles in its adventure mode and there's a sandbox to kind of try stuff so i'm going to start i have not played this app before so this is the first time so i'm going to you're going to what you're seeing me do is what children will do as they go through the app so let's have a look So these are the characters from Goldie Blocks, which kids who've used previous apps or toys may recognise. So they're kind of trying to create this bunch of characters, including the lead character Goldie Blocks, or Goldie rather. So here we go. The cupcake matic can make cupcakes for everyone. Okay. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn the sound off just so I can play through and uh, it's not going to go But yes, let's try this first adventure level. So here we go. So this is like a lot of other apps. You're kind of kids are coding essentially by dragging and dropping commands. So here we go. I can tap on this arrow, it goes up to there, and then press play, and that sends her on a rocket skateboard from one aisle to the other. So let's go back. Okay, so let's do the same thing again. Tap, tap. She picks up the cherries, heads to the end. That's me done. And I got three stars for that. Again, this system is quite common to a lot of mobile games and kids will recognise it. So I got a finished level, I got all the loot and I took the shortest path. So now, off to make cupcakes and this time we need to enter two commands. This time you need two. Ah, what do I have to do now? So... I have to go along and I have to go down to the end where the star is, so along and down. Give me four Let's try that. Rocket fuel. There we go. If this is what cupcake shops are like, I might open one myself, but it's quite fun with a rocket skateboard. So again, finish level, all the loot, shortest path. Now what I need to do is I guess I need to go along and up and along. Love the smell of frosting in the morning. There she goes. So it's very um, simple and accessible. Uh, get from A to B um, while well, getting stuff along the way. And as you go along, I think it gets more complicated. So what's happening here? Oh, I get to put. Put a crown. There you go. So that was obviously my reward. Right, so now the second level. Go along, and down, and along. Left you can see there's some commands locked here that I haven't seen yet. I knew we could do it. She knew we could do it. I knew we could do it too. So at the moment, it's very much just telling her to go. Down along. Nailed it. Let's 
So in between the levels, the characters turn up again to sort of give it a little bit more plot. Okay, so now I'm mixing up, checking a recipe card. Okay. So I need two of those ice creams. Oh, I need a pair of, oh dear, this is very, flour, there you go. I need cupcakes, strawberries, there we go, so there I'm picking the ingredients as they fall down. And it took me 32 seconds because <laughs> I wasn't being very good at it. Right. So, a super duper fix it blastomatic. So, this is aimed obviously not at me, a 30 year old man. This is aimed at girls, but without being too girly. I think the idea is it's not full of pink. It's not one of those apps that kind of um, girlifies up everything, assuming that the girls can't cope with um, technology concepts or, or coding. So it's designed to be not patronising, I think, and also diverse. Again, one of the things we look out for on that playground is diverse characters. It's not just white faces. It's a mixture of kind of um, people, shapes, sizes, colours, races, and so on. So what's this? Okay. Ah, look, I have to blast someone. So if I go right down, do I then blast and go along? Let's have a look. Look out below. Code the fix it rate of fire after you set off from the end. So along, down, along ambler on the Okay, so do I go along, down, along and blah. Let's have a look. Then we're off. There you go, and I appear to have fixed it as I went. And here we go, I can choose something else from this rewards thing. I'm going to choose a spanner. There you go. So this is a kind of the, almost a chart of your progress, the things you've unlocked. As you can see, um, much like a lot of mobile games actually, you can see your way along. You can see how many levels you've got to come and making your way through this environment up to this giant windmill house at the end. So I'm still in the beginning. I'll do a few more levels to show you how it works. So you can drag a command on or off the list. Dragging is a great shortcut. So that's quite an important thing about coding is the idea of not just making a program and testing it, but also test, uh, taking things out and, and um, editing your code. Debugging, I suppose, would be the word. So if I'm going to go along, up, and fix that thing there, that which looks like a hazard, along. And if I did it wrong, too many alongs there, I can drag this off. Let's see if that's worked. Yep, so I fixed the problem on the way. Collect the cherries. Right yeah, and you can see how it's gradually getting a bit more complicated and the things you learn each level um, you take with you and then you have to repeat. So there's a cat there looking really, really quite grumpy. So I guess I'm going to use the blaster to fix that. And then go up, along, down. I'm giving it a fish. There you go, it's looking slightly happier now. So this isn't quite so complicated as some of the coding apps out there that, that are more about stringing together lots of commands. This is much more uh, introducing kids to the, the concepts and the idea of stringing commands together. So up, along, fix the lady with the stop sign, and down. Now oh, I see there, She's, she sort of fires it out to stop them. Funky fresh code. I've never quite been complimented like that before. So here we go. So I'm on three stars so far. I'll do this one more and then I shall look at some of the other bits of the app. So how do they come? So each time you get a little bit of plots explaining what's happening. More cupcakes. That seems to be the answer. Oh look, here we go. It's got a bit more complex now. So I can either go along and down and along. Or along, along, along. So I'm gonna go. Along, 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 down, down, along and blast. So that should take me, so I'm assuming you have to do one command for each of these boxes. 
So let's see. Along, 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 down. A long blast. There you go. I knew we could do it. So one of the kind of criticisms you must get is how do these oh look, I didn't take the shortest path. So I've got two stars there. Still got uh, a big chocolate cake. Trouble? So one of the criticisms you must get of these games is what's the connection between doing this and actually actual programming? Um, but I think the idea is it's more for younger children, it's to get them used to the idea of thinking in, in programmatically, so thinking about sequences of actions, um, rather than they will learn a certain language. So I think, which is the shortest way here, I think it will be the top way. So along, up, along, sort the cat out, and go up again. He's happy with his fish. And up. Okay, the frosting pipes are broken. Repair the pipes, taste test the frosting. Tap the pipes to make the frosting flow to all the cupcakes. So the, uh, the main action is kind of broken up with these little things. Oh, I see, okay, so I have to connect up. This is like a game I used to play when I was a kid called Pipe Mania. But it's slightly easier. Okay, ah, here we go, I need to. Oh look, here we go, yes. I think I know what I'm doing. I knew we could do it. I'll be time for this, will I? Let's carry on. Right, okay, what's with what I think I need to go? Along, up, along, down, along, up. And I've avoided all the problems, but is that the fastest way? We're gonna find out. There you go. So that is showing you the game's adventure mode. Uh, and now, I'm going to go to sandbox mode. So here we go. So right here, I can play a bunch of puzzles. Um, so this is the endless puzzles at any level, apparently. So I will go along. Oh, there's complicated bits in here. There's like a sort of. Roundabout bit. Oh. So now I've got to work out. Is it in the right way? Yes, down, long. There you go. So this is kind of a basic way of playing endless puzzles. Which do you like? Uh, also, in here, there is. Uh, mini games, which will be the games I've played. I have one to unlock at 50 cupcakes. And there's Goldie TV, which is the Goldie Blocks videos. So here there are cartoons, there are how to's, feature videos. This is kind of a, a look into the other stuff that Goldie Blocks is doing around that. So this is um, the Rocket Cupcake Company, um, or rather, to give it its full title, Goldie Blocks Adventures in Coding, the Rocket Cupcake Co. Um, this is available um, on certainly on iOS for 2.29. I'm, I wonder if it's available on Android. You know, I haven't checked that. Um, so it's a paid app. So you pay your £2.29 and you get all the levels in. So there's no kind of in app like that. Um, I am just checking out on the indie in the internet as we speak whether it's available on Android. Let's have a look. This is preparation, as you can tell. I think it's only iOS for the moment um, and yeah it's a good fun introduction um, to coding and I think the idea is it will get people interested it's aimed at four four years old and up so it's kind of young children um, here in the um, it is definitely iOS only by the way here in the UK there are children's as five are just starting to do coding in school so this might be really good fun this summer to give to a child who's about to go into uh, primary school and get their first experience of programming, this might kind of whet their appetite, get them thinking about these things. Uh, and it's fun. And it maybe it is more for girls than boys, but I think boys won't be hugely put off it, um, especially younger boys, actually. I think once the boys get to seven or eight, they start getting worried about things being girlish or not, which is one of the stereotypes that Goldilocks is trying to sort of battle. 
but yeah so this is it it's good it's 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 accessible it's fun uh, and I think it's got plenty of scope to get a bit more complex from what I've been doing here um, so give it a try see what you think see what your kids think and post a comment if you've played this app and um, if your children have been using this and tell us what they think and if you like uh, reviews of children's apps we're trying to do one a day at the moment so subscribe to this channel on YouTube and you'll be notified whenever we have something new um, thank you for watching